They called him Rabbani, which means teacher. When the Bible records Jesus speaking, the common verb used is to teach. He teaches his disciples. He teaches in the synagogues. He teaches the crowds. And his only boyhood experience recorded in the Gospels involves Jesus engaged in a learning conversation with temple rabbis. Among the themes of his three-year ministry on earth, alongside miracle working and healing, is storytelling and truth-telling. It was the ministry of education and modeling what the kingdom of heaven is truly about. In Genesis, from the creation of humanity, God gave his children both dignity and duty. As image bearers of the creator, even before the fall, we were tasked to grow and develop our understanding of God's character and to emulate it. To be a learner is an expression of our humanity. The prayer of King Solomon to increase in knowledge and wisdom should be ours prayer as well. Education is essential to human flourishing, and to the extent that education is neglected or marginalized, flourishing is threatened or even reversed. Education will be essential to challenge and correct misconceptions and inform our participation in the reconciling work of Christ. Whether it's the fight against COVID or racial injustice, education is a powerful and essential tool carefully consider what are you learning and sharing does it align with the teachings of the great rabbi jesus